Hello, before starting the video, I would just wanted to say that this video is on hold in my computer for uh, more than one uh, for uh, months. Uh, there's a lot of misspelling in this video and I recommend you to turn on the subtitles. This video has a, a customizable subtitles that you can read while hearing, not get confused by my misspelling. There's a lot of misspelling this video I really recommend. Also, today I just got the Google Ads thing working properly now, after uh, five months as well. And that's pretty cool. I think that's pretty nice. Also, if you like, you can subscribe. You don't have to if you don't want to. I just thought I'd my ask. 1.17 came out uh, just came out yesterday and 1.18 is the second part of 1.17 the Cliffs and Cliffs update so what that means is that in this video I talk about 1.17 as 1.17 and 1.18 and 1.18 as 1.19 and 1.19 as 1.20 so that's why the title is 1.20 19 to 120 because 1.17 and 118 are the same update just with the part one and part two well enjoy the video hey i'm fugis and i'm going to talk about 1.18 plus uh, version of minecraft that are going to come out after 1.17 and what plans mojang are maybe thinking about at this time so let's start. What I'm going to talk first is the speedruns are going to change a lot after the version 1.16 and I've already changed because of the new nether. Minecraft was in 1.8 for on the history and the lore on the game. Like you spawn in the game, in survival you can make everything you want and the first thing you would make is everything of course but there was the nether and you could go to the nether and you could kill blaze and to find the blaze you you have to find a fortress after that by killing enderman you can make eye of ender and with the eye of ender you could find the stronghold and with enough eye of enders you could enter the portal of the end maybe and you killed the ender dragon now that is in 1.8 in 1.9 you would spawn in the world it's the same thing as 1.8 and you would go to the nether after you're done in the overworld and you would basically would be full diamonds or Basically, I don't know what you probably <laughs> were there, but uh, let's go on. So, you were in the nether, you would find the fortress, and in 1.9, what basically was different from 1.8 was the combat and the end. So, you would kill the blaze uh, differently from the 1.8 version. You would spam in 1.8 and in 1.9 plus uh, you would just jump and crit out the enemies you have the cooldown and you would kill the blaze then you grab the the blaze rods like in 1.8 and you would go to the stronghold like the same thing and if you go to the end you would kill the dragon just with some changes in the battle and after the end it was finished like in that 1.8 but they added one thing killed gateway and what gateway uh did was when you killed the dragon you you could go to the deep parts of the end i would say and there you could find the elytras and shulkers as well and yeah that's basically it in 1.9 so you would go to 1.16 and something's pretty much changed. So you saw the story a little bit changed in the end, in 1.9. In 1.16, you would go the same route, but when you joined the nether, well, <laughs> you were going to have a bad time. Why I'm saying this? Because 
they added literally biomes to the nether like literally i'm not kidding so you're in the nether to find the fortress is just basically pretty hard <laughs> And then you have the bastions, you have the piglins, you could trade uh, gold, and yeah, that's the nether, while, well, you got out of the nether, and then you go to stronghold, you kill the ender dragon, you have the gateways, it's the same as one, not nine, and yeah, why I'm not talking about the versions of in 1.9 plus, like 1.10, 1.11, 1.12, 1.13, 1.14, and 1.15 is because they're not that important to the story in what what's gonna come to Minecraft and what's gonna change like in speedrunning in a lot of things because Mojang is listening and they're trying to change the compact as well to be more 1.9, 1.8-ish, you know? You're, going, you're trying to... Mesh, mesh up the, the two combats. Well, I don't know if that's a good idea because I like the 1.8 and the 1.9 combats. The, they're both uh, are, they are pretty cool. The majority of the people like 1.8. Me too. I like spamming. I like jitter clicking, you know. Continuing to the video. So here are some graphs about 1.8, 1.9 plus and 1.8. 16 and there is a category that i'm going to talk about later a graph that is 1.17 plus in 1.8 the graph well um the three dimensions that is the overworld the nether and the end so in the 1.8 you can see that is very very plainish that is the start of the game and the game didn't have a lot of lore and history when you went to 1.9 you could see the difference in the end. They're adding some of it. And in 1.16, you can see that, yeah, the nether is pretty much uh, going all over the place because there has been added a lot of things to the nether. And I actually like the nether update. It's a good one. Also, I, I like the 1.13 update because of the aquatic update. And you now can swim. But basically, I'm going to continue. That's it. Now, in the 1.17, there is the graph of the case going crazy as well. Because in the 1.17, they're going to add a lot of things to caves as well to the mountains. So the overworld and the caves are getting all over the place because well they're more soft the nether and the end are the same and the nether doesn't need another update because they added a lot of things now that is going to be 1.17 so minecraft in the lore there's gonna be bosses because well a game of survival would be more survival with bosses and that's why minecraft isn't a still good survival game it is but it's getting better. When they add more bosses, the game is going to be a lot better. They're gonna add the Warden, and the Warden is gonna protect the Stronghold. They basically, in the depths of the caves, they're in the underground, minus zero coordinate um, Y level, you know. They're gonna be Strongholds, and I think the appearance of the Strongholds are going to change as well well the, so that's it the warden is gonna take a lot of damage to the player so you're gonna pretty much need netherite to get past him to get to the stronghold to the, get to the end so th that's the lore now it's a lot more complex now that we have the basics i'm gonna talk about 1.18 plus and what's to come to speed running well in 1.18 18 plus we are going to see some changes in the end why because you've seen the graphs in 1.17 and here is a graph of 1.18 and you can see that i think after the cave update will come an end update why because the ne the end needs more lore and more items and more things you know minecraft is a good game but it can get better with bosses and more lore like why are we in this place? Geography is going to explain it a lot in 1.17, the warden as well, deep caves, 
that's pretty pretty cool. Me and my friends have tested the snapshot in a survival world. You can see here. 1.17 is pretty cool case. I've tried it with my friends. Our texts are good. Now in 1.18 there will be end updates almost certainly. Why? Because I've already told you that the graph needs some adjusts in the end. The end will maybe look better of some kind, but we'll only have to wait and see. I think they're gonna add biomes and more soft and just highlighters and the shulkers. I hope so. Now I'm going to talk about 1.19. After the 1.18 stuff, so you got the basic game, what they gonna add? more blocks, that's exactly what we thought when we uh, were in the update 1.8, we thought the game was pretty much over with the end, it the flattiness on the nether, but no, they made the game prettier, now the game is so pretty, they cannot make more adjusts and updates on the old stuff because they are new, what they're gonna do after the 1.18, the end update, you're gonna make 1.19 the adder update. So you're maybe thinking I'm crazy, but I'm not. I'm certainly sure that they're gonna make some another dimension. As well, I like criticizing. You can say I'm I'm an idiot and I'm stupid and all the things in the comments because it can be not the way I'm talking, but I'm almost certain that it's gonna be this way because Minecraft is Minecraft, you know. <laughs> in the 1.19 the adder update, pretty much if they added the adder mod, like the other th stuff they made from mods like pistons, birds, uh, horses, and all that stuff, and their chests. So if they added the adder mod literally to vanilla, well, the creator of the mod is already in the team of Mojang, so why not, you know, they could reuse the old code, try and make another dimension, more bosses would come, also, they could add another way of blaze rods, because blaze rods now are only obtainable when killing blazes on the fortress in the nether. Back then, enderpearls were the same just by killing endermen, but now you can get pretty much in every way. Piglins, trading, endermen are all over the dimensions. They're going to make some other updates, and I hope so. Uh, I'm not certain, you know. <laughs> I could be wrong. A lot wrong. The blazes need some adjustments. I think they're gonna add the was that they were thinking so back when the, there was the floating, I think it was the Blaze King or something, it would be a pretty good boss to kill. So you start a game, you'd go to the nether, you'd have, you'd have to kill the Blaze King, you'd then go to the deeps after getting netherite, you would kill the other boss named Warden, then you'd go to the end, you would kill the ender dragon, then you would go to the gateway, and in there, there could be another, I don't know, stronghold, or maybe anything, and there would be the adder mode, there, a dimension, more bosses, and there could be so much add to the game after, the game could be so much different, and it could have a lore and a history timeline, pretty good, I would think so. That's basically this video, if you would speedrun in that version, it would be very different, and that's basically when I'm trying to see the future of Minecraft with more bosses and more stuff. It would be pretty cool, it would revive Minecraft survival, it would maybe revive map making, maybe, maybe just saying. And why 1.8 is pretty good, because it has a good combat, and also a lot of servers with plugins and minigames that the community made, while Mojang wasn't making stuff. So uh, yeah, I'm hyped about the future, hoped to see pretty good stuff that Mojang can make, and well, in the Covid thing, stay safe guys, and bye.